All right, guys, I want to talk today about probably the most versatile submission in grappling or jiu-jitsu, and that's the uh, Ezekiel choke. Now, if you've been training for any period of time, you know that it's a gi dominant choke. Okay. Now, the Ezekiel is a choke of itself, but it's also a, a, a move you can get off other submissions. Okay. It's, I, I call it the most versatile because it is everywhere, from every position. Okay. Now, there's a way you can practice this choke which I want to show you. You want to get good at Ezekiel chokes? It's a drill you can practice. Okay. Take your four fingers, put it in your gi, and just bring it through like this. This is what the movement of the choke is, is this. Doing this, sometimes just to warm up your grip, warm up your fingers, will help the choke. Okay. I pull this choke off quite a bit. Now, this, it can also be done without a gi, which I'll touch on later. All right. Now, I want to bring in uh, my partner Eli here. Go ahead and lie down. So most of you are familiar with Ezekiel choke for mount, right? Okay, we get under here, grab the four fingers in, bring it here, okay? And this is the most common way you see it. But conversely, roll them into my guard here, and if I can come here, got it there, right? Just back. Everyone expects the rear naked choke from here, which is good, but if he's here defending that, you know, I can come in and do, I can come in like this, very powerful. <coughs> now where the versatility comes in, not just the, the use of this choke from different positions, but the use of this choke from different submissions. So a good example of this guillotine choke. So, you know, good old guillotine, right? And I'm in here, but he's fighting it. If I take the hand here and bring this up like this, you know, now he's defending against two things. He might defend the guillotine and my arm's already in there. I bring this in and bring it over the top. Okay. Another one, dark choke. Okay, dark choke, versatile move in and of itself. Okay, I can be here doing stuff, but if it doesn't work, I can also start attacking the Ezekiel off of it. Now, it's a simple move as you see, because this is all the move really is, and it can be, be done anywhere. Now, like I said earlier, you can do this nogi as well. Now, the way I like to do it, nogi, I'll show you guys just from mount here. Same kind of hand positioning, but since nogi I wouldn't have a, a gi to grab into, I come grab my bicep, and what I do is I slide my fingers down his face like this, and then just come in. Okay, so it's a little bit, instead of coming here and here, it's here and here, I'm putting it in the hole that way. Okay, I mean, think about it. In any position you want, you can be on side mount and do it. Me on belly. But it's so simple and so versatile that it's a move that I think needs to be in everyone's arsenal. I think that it's something worth practicing. I've gotten it in tournaments. I get it all the time in training. I get it nogi. You gotta practice it nogi a little bit more. But definitely one that you have to have in your arsenal and at least understand.